Weird Science is the revolution. Hello, all you weirdos. Jim here, and we indeed have breaking news. And maybe a couple of things of breaking news, because this is directly from a press release sent to me by the DC Comics PR department. And while that doesn't sound that crazy, I'll let you know that the DC Comics PR department has treated us like crap pretty much the last couple of years. And in fact, uh, about a year ago or so, they ended up deciding that our review coverage wasn't positive enough. They tried to force us into getting more positive reviews. We wouldn't do it. And they cut us off. They cut the cord. We didn't get the review copies. And I stopped getting press releases. I didn't get anything. Well, lo and behold, today, an email hits and it's from the, directly from the guy who told us that we'd never get anything from DC ever again. And I think that this is telling, and I think this is the desperate times. Calls for desperate measures, desperate measures being getting involved with me. But here is the breaking news here. Gail Simone returns to Superman, joined by superstar artist Eddie Barrows, for a new three-part action comics arc this summer. And I do like myself some Eddie Barrows. It's good that they're giving him a big book, not just some throwaway Suicide Squad things. Uh, And I actually do like Gail Simone. Uh, Pre-Twitter Gail Simone kind of deal. I don't really get involved with that, but I'm kind of excited that she might be getting back to just concentrating on comics or doing the X-Men and now Action Comics, two huge things. So if she's getting her groove back here, these are two big things to do it on, and I'm kind of excited to see what she can do. But I think that if you are out there thinking, well, I do like her, don't like her, whatever, I'm sitting here saying that I'm giving her the chance, but if these two things crash, then I, then I might be done. We'll see. I, I always end up giving people more and more chances, just like my wife does with me. So I got to pass it on, right? <laughs> I got to pay it forward. Here is the story. Gail Simone returns to Superman, joined by superstar artist Eddie Barrows. Now, I do think he's a superstar artist, not quite a hot shot, right? I'd rather be a superstar than a hot shot. For a new three-part action comics arc taking place at the beginning of the Man of Steel superhero career. Now, with all of this, the whole lay of the land there at Action Comics, you ended up having Philip Kennedy Johnson kind of has to end his post You know, war world story He was still doing all that stuff And it kind of had to end quickly because Lo and behold, Jason Aaron has shown up at DC Comics And they give him a three-issue arc The I. Bizarro arc on Action Comics And then after that, Joshua Williamson jumps in And currently, right now, is doing his House of Brainiac story Through both Superman and Action Comics Now, I think that we kind of all, at least I did I lost track of how this all played out Mainly because it did seem like they ended up, okay, Philip Kenny Johnson, you're no longer on the book because, boy, this new shiny thing, Jason Aaron, showed up. And then in the meantime, it also gives Joshua Williamson time to get everything in line for the House of Brainiac. But indeed, when they did announce this and Jason Aaron was going to be on, it was in this new Superman Superstars initiative that it seems like this is going to continue now. This kind of shows that as a rotating creative team type deal. I don't mind, though. I actually don't mind. I wish that Philip Kenny Johnson had more time to finish his story. But I don't mind, you know, having these especially free issue arcs like the I Bizarro and what this is going to be from Gail Simone and Eddie Barrows. Because even if you're not into said writer, you only have to wait a little bit and then you can check out who the next one is. So that's kind of cool, right? I think so. But here is the talk of exactly that. DC's 2024 Superman Superstars initiative within their Superman lines of comics will continue from July to September with the all-star pairing of Gail Simone and Eddie Barrows announced as the next creative teams on Action Comics, telling a new Superman story taking place at the beginning of the Man of Steel's action-packed career. Simone and Barrows' story, Superman and the Challenge from the Stars, I wish it was like challenge of the network stars right and you end up having you know chachi and fonzie going against you know all that the people from the love boat isaac's there he's pointing at you it'd be real cool follows arcs from jason aaron and john timms i bizarro and joshua williamson and rafa sandoval house of brainia this is what gail simone has to say i love the classic superman cast and this story is deliberately meant to echo my all-time favorite superman time period said simone all right We didn't want to tell a quiet story of Superman in a diner. 
Well, you know, you live and learn, I guess, is what she'd tell you. We wanted to have a massive threat, a war taking place all over the world, and only Superman could possibly protect his adopted planet. It is unapologetically huge in scope and fun as hell with one of the best art teams I've ever worked with, Eddie Barrows, Danny Mickey, and Rex Locus on colors at the moment. Every single other creative team that she's worked with grinding their teeth. They're like, you jerk. The first of Simone and Barrow's three issues kick off with a massively powerful alien race makes Earth their arena. Superman DC's Man of Steel, in case you didn't know that, must stand alone against impossible challenges that threaten locations all around the world and lives or lives of those he loves. Lives of those he loves. Action Comics 1067 begins a not-to-be-missed epic tale of Superman's strength, wit, and resourcefulness in the early stage of his public career. You know, that wit that we had where he's telling dad jokes and the Tom King Wonder Woman at the Space Mall? Ah, a lot of wit there. A lot of wit indeed. For me, talking about action comics is something that goes beyond the title itself, shared Eddie Barrows. He's not a hotshot. He's a superstar. So stop it. I remember when I was seven years old, I was playing on the sidewalk and suddenly I was run over by a truck right there. This, this is so dirty dark. This is escalated. I spent three days fighting for my life, and during that whole year that followed, I remained in bed doing lots of physiotherapy, lots of meds and exams. There's a lot of stuff going on. Going to the doctors was a regular thing, and it was he really is laying it on here. And it was during that time that Superman came to my life. Where was he when the truck was heading towards you? Isn't that what he usually does? He'd stop that truck? I'd be pissed at Superman. I really would have had a grudge on Superman. Like, where the hell were you, dude? Who are you saving at that point? Probably Lois jumping off a building just to get his attention. That's probably what happened. Blame Lois. And he read Action Comics, he says, by the way. Cal L became a good friend of mine. Tell you, what friend is he? A friend in need is a friend indeed, Eddie. Remember that. Making my days better. His adventures and his behavior were things that stuck with me. Just like, like metal rods and stuff. Reading his stories were the highlight of my days for a seven-year-old recovering from an accident. Like I was. Back then, I wouldn't have imagined. Why am I laughing at this misfortune? Actually, I do know why. It's, it's pretty much part of the course. Back then, I wouldn't have imagined that one day I'd be helping to build his legacy, illustrating his story. We have to all read the story now. There's no other thing about it. I mean, this is the greatest press release I've ever read. He is really gilding all of us into having to at least check it out. The stories of my all time favorite superhero, Superman. Ooh-wee. If it was anybody but Eddie Barrows, I would say I, I need to see the receipts on this, but I believe them. Whew, that got dark. There you go. Hey, everybody. You better, you know, read this. Uh, an injured kid wants you to. He's begging, begging from back in the day. Ooh-wee. But that is it. He says you got to gotta follow this. His all-time favorite hero, Superman, got him out of that dark time. Wasn't there at the beginning, but he was there at the end. Isn't that what matters at the end? Oh, my goodness gracious. I, I didn't know. I don't read these things beforehand. It's very obvious at points, but this really, who we? But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to read it. I mean, I better now. Uh, but it starts in July. So you have July, August, September. You have this story. I think that's cool. Again, if, if it's something that you're like, I can't stand Gail Simone, I think most people like Eddie Barrows, you can get on. I mean, the poor guy. Read it, please. But even then, if you don't like the first issue, you just have to wait a couple months and then see who else is on next. I actually think that's a cool way of doing things. And it kind of points out the deal because all the talk, there's the absolute DC stuff that's being talked about. I still think that we're going to get a, a bunch of new number ones coming up September, October, you know, and this goes through September. And I think that at that point, we're going to see a lot of changes in what they're calling that all in type deal so i'm excited i'm excited about this one thing also to point out though that doesn't seem like we'll have you know at least action comics tie into the absolute power story so maybe that's even a tell that we're not going to get too many times i know i say that and it's going to burn me down the line because we'll probably get eight million but action comics doesn't seem to be one of them uh so that is pretty cool let me know what you think about Gail Simone jumping on Action Comics. Let me know what you think about Eddie Barrows and Gail Simone. And maybe, you know, wish Eddie some some good vibes, I guess. It's been a while since that happened, but I still feel bad that I was laughing. But 
with all that, thanks, everybody. I'm going to go giggle to myself, and I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.